I'm still trying to see to negotiate to see whether I can get you more. Member for Nyandarwa. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. On behalf of myself and on behalf of the great people of Nyandarwa, I join all Kenyans in expressing my sorrow and heartfelt condolences to the family of our late former President Emilio Mwai Kibaki. We are praying to God uh, that he may give them comfort and strength at this moment of great pain. Our country is indeed mourning the loss of a great Kenyan who served as a transformative leader for many decades. While we mourn our former president, we must remember to be grateful for his long life. We must also be grateful for his long stint in public service. Since the early days of independent Kenya, he served as a minister, vice president, opposition leader, and finally as president. His long story carries a significant lesson for us. He leaves with us a legacy of service. Indeed, a great man. The late Mwai Kebaki taught us that leadership is an opportunity to serve others and not to simply satisfy greed and fulfill selfish desires. Mwai Kibaki served the people of Kenya in various capacities for an extended period. His example reminds us of the need for endurance, persistence, fortitude, and humility. Let all Kenyans carry this with them, the memory of a man who served his people and continually sought to improve lives. May God bless Kenya, and may his legacy of the late um, Mwai Kibaki always shine brightly in our nation. May his soul rest in eternal peace. Member for Narok North. Thank you, Honorable Speaker.